Hello everyone, I am Ashutosh and I am back with another exciting video on Flutter. So as we know that Google recently released a major upgrade to Flutter that enables developers to create beautiful, fast and portable applications for any platform. With Flutter 2.0, you can use the same code base to ship native apps to 5 operating systems, iOS, Android, Windows, macOS and Linux. Moreover, Flutter will also serve web experiences targeting browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari and Edge. Flutter can be embedded now in cars, TV and any smart home appliances providing the most pervasive and portable experience. The Google said that our goal is fundamentally shift how developers think about building apps starting not with the platform you are targeting but rather the experience you want to create. Flutter allows you to handcraft beautiful experiences along with supreme speed. Flutter internally compiles your source code to machine code, but thanks to the support of stateful hot reload in Flutter, you will still get productivity and performance on any environment and on any platform. Let us now talk about something for which the new version of Flutter has become so famous and that is the web support in Flutter 2.0. The early foundation of web was document centric, but the web platform was evolved to hold amazing platform APIs that enables highly sophisticated applications with 2D and 3D graphics, flexible layouts and paint APIs. The initial release of Flutter focuses on three app scenarios in particular. Progressive web apps that combines web's reach with capabilities of desktop app. Single page apps that load once and transfer data to and from internet services, bringing existing Flutter mobile apps to web which enables shared code for both web and mobile experiences. Flutter's web support builds on these innovations, offering an app-centric framework that takes full advantage of all the modern web has to offer. As we noted, Flutter 2.0 is portable across many different platforms and factors. The most of the credit for these easy transition to support all platforms goes to Dart, which is Google's programming language that is optimized for multi-platform development. Dart combines a unique set of capabilities like portability with all kinds of compilers, iterative development with stateful hot reload on desktop as well as mobile and giving amazing performance across all platforms with complete safety guarantee. So Flutter 2.0 is available now, completely open source and Google is already using it in some of its applications. So what are you waiting for? Download now and get started building amazing things in Flutter. So that is it for this video guys and I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I would recommend you to go to our website devsense.in and you can subscribe to our newsletter, get the updates directly to your mailbox whenever we release a new content. Other than that, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can join the Discord server. You will get all the links in the description box below. If you want to support me, then you can do that by donating me on Patreon page. That's it for today, guys. I'll be back with the next video. Till then, stay safe.